What you said, my name is James, man's from South London. South yeah. London. Nice. Um, I study computing here at Bournemouth University. So, why did you choose your course? To be honest, I chose my course because I saw there was a lot of, what's that word? I, look, I was researched what's like the most demanding jobs, computing was one of them, or computer science was one of them, and then I decided to do that. Also, I'm, I like, I'm a guy who likes to be challenged, so I've not really done a lot of computing, and I saw like an opportunity where I can personally grow a lot, and yeah, that's why I chose it. What do you think of your course so far, first semester? First semester was good, it was up and down, to be honest. Um, up that it was demanding it was challenging that's what i like because i like to be challenged the down bit was if you struggle by yourself it's going to be really hard like, if you don't reach out to people or you don't use the resource um, resources or facilities uni is giving you you will struggle like for example i think we had assignment and i was struggling about it i was like getting very very it was it was literally affecting my mental it was not my mental health but it was affecting me mentally like that's what i kept thinking about like the assignment the assignment when is it going to get done da, 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 da. and then i realized that i went to like room i talked to my lecturer i talked to my seminar they started giving me help and then it shows that it just shows sometimes no matter what it's just good to ask for help isn't it like to be honest mm, yeah it's all right so what do you think the best A levels slash subjects for your course are? So, say people in sixth form they want to come and do computing. What do you think the best A levels they should study to come and to do computing? To be honest, um, computing, computing, IT, programming. Um, even, even like in your sixth form, you might not be doing it, but even if you do it outside, just have like the basic. No one's asking you to get the top of the thing. Just have a basic understanding so that when you get on here, you won't find it as challenging or as new to you right in your face as it is once you start here. Like you, you, you would have seen it before, so you're familiar with it, and then you, you'll be able to work around it and get a better concept for what you need to do. Okay, so let's go on about Bournemouth now, right? What do you think the best thing about Bournemouth University is? I'm not gonna lie, it's probably for me, is the sports. So you like the sports, can you go into more about that? It's the sports because, like in like in some unis, they just have the varsity. They don't have like another league. So if you don't play for the varsity, that's your football done, technically for the year. So do you play football then? Yeah, I do play football. And so I don't play for the varsity currently. Hopefully next year I plan to play for them, but I play in like a, a campus league, so it's like the, it's like the prem, but it's like the championship of the, of the prem, which is varsity, and then, yeah, and then it just it just in sports like there's like more opportunity. That's what I like because whereas in like Portsmouth where my twin brother goes, there's not really if you don't play for varsity that is literally it. There's like no opportunity for you to go go and be still part of within the union rather than it being you and your group of friends trying to make something happen like there's a six society you can join as well and like if, the, if you want to do six society in another um uni like you that's you and your friends organizing it and sometimes long sometimes so for you overall the sports what the sports opportunities bu offers is very good yeah so what do you think the worst thing about bournemouth university is For me, I would say it's the environment because I don't feel at home yet. Okay, so can you expand? Mm, because I know. So are we talking about the university or the area here? No, what's the what? No, because you have a question about the area, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's later on. Yeah, yeah, but I'll. So I'll this is about the university, university at this point. This what moment. I don't like about the university, I don't know. You don't know? Not, not anything really about, about the university? Not okay, anything so I can think of. Right that's alright. So, what do you feel like for from a overall point of view? What do you feel like the Bournemouth area is like for everyone? So, overall point of view. So not, not just not in just your. You. It's not just um, you. It's just like for everyone. How do you think the feel is for everyone? Um, I feel like. I feel like for everyone is probably fine. So now, now, what do you feel like for you? For me. For me, it. 
for me it is fine or it is okay but it's not i'm not i wouldn't say i'm happy yeah Why? I, I go clubbing and do that and do that but it's there that's fun well i don't like the environment per se because it's because i'm from london so like the diversity i love the diversity because i get to see a whole range of different people get to talk to a whole range of different where i am in bournemouth i'm limited not per se but like like there is there's it's less minority diverse. race yeah man minority race yes and it's less diverse okay so it's just the diversity in bournemouth is not as much and as i just don't feel like second home but there's other reasons but that's personal yeah that's all right so where are you currently accommodating Stephen Village. Don't live there. It's terrible. <laughs> so it's not worth. What are it. the ups about Stephen Village? Let's, for example, you live near to uni. You live like five minutes away. Mm. So let's say you have a lecture. You have like a three, four hour gap. You can go home. You can relax, refresh yourself, mm. and da 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 da. It's so rather than staying in uni because sometimes even staying in the uni and trying to relax, it's not relaxing because you're still in the uni environment. And then, yeah, just being able to go home. Do whatever and then come back. So the quick, quickly being able to yeah. go between uni and university. Yeah, the that's the, that's Is that everything? It's the ups? um. The ups is you get to meet in Stephen Village a lot of weird or like different characters, not weird, different characters. Different characters. Very different characters. And what do you mean? Can you expand? Oh, this is guy. Wears glasses. No long names. Hair, no names. Jacket. <laughs> Leather, leather jacket, leather trouser. That he looks like a biker. He's just a joke man. So he basically came up to me. Was so like, a joke, can you explain what a joke man is? A joke man is is on serious. Like it's a song <laughs> you don't take serious. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> the joke that's man right. is. Um, so you don't take them seriously. And so basically, he's a joke man because he came up to me and he was like, "Oh, I can unlock any key, any door, any yeah, any door within this." within Stephen Village if I want to so I was like one that's weird though that's very weird and two he says you can hack shit like he says if you want if you want shit to be hacked just come to me and thirdly he was trying to give hugs to like everyone including girls and it was so uncomfortable like just, people just gave it I didn't I didn't give a hug but girls and boys just gave it because they just felt that to be honest so that's the is that an up or a down it's more it's a boat, fam. It's a boat. It's, it's a, a boat. boat. Yeah, let's, let's talk about the downs. Downs of student village. Yeah. Oh, I've got many. I Just my, the top ones, the top ones, the top yeah, ones. Yeah, the, 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 the biggest down is my cooker. Don't work properly. I'm not lying to you. So <laughs> how can I be cooking? I'm making a meal and the electricity turns off. The whole thing. <laughs> fam, it's happened like 20 times. 20? Yeah. It's a reoccurring. Yeah. So you just click and it just turns off. Fam, I have, don't worry, I've chat to them talk to them they'll say yes james we'll do something about it but they say uh, they don't do it and then when i come they get how, how was that reason i, I know so basically so i that the biggest um, limitation is i can't cook before 11. if i cook before 11 and it goes off no one won't be able to come to fix it till 11. oh okay okay i see so I remember this time I was cooking, I started cooking at 10 because it was going to take a while and it was going to take like 45 minutes, maybe at max an hour. So I was like, I started cooking at 10 because I don't do cook at 11 then. Start even at 12 yeah. or, or 1, whatever, yeah. that's just weird. So it's basically my eating habits generally. And then so basically I have to wait till 11 because before 11, it won't, they won't come at all. They would, obviously I would have told someone it's not until 11. Someone actually can't fix it, do something about it. Okay, another one? The bad side? Or another bad side is. Oh, he's my roommate, Sadie. So, but then but with the roommates, do you feel like that's an overall steal to the village or just you, your your room in particular? It's just probably mine. That's what I mean. So, I, so like, do you think, say, like, someone was thinking about students coming to Steven Village, would you suggest it? Maybe. It depends. What, what what would be the pushing factor to say no? It's just that it's not worth it. Cause I for example, like the rent the rent I'm paying compared to 
one of my friends who lives in another Where's is like, house like she lives in it's opposite Bailey Point. Oxford Point? No. Uh, Purbeck. Purbeck. She lives in Purbeck. And what she is paying is not too different to what I'm paying. So it's not even worth it. Like, so plus you have to what, share a bathroom. So what, why is it not worth it? So I'm saying, what makes Purbeck better than Stina Village? Because for Stina Village, you're not getting worth your money. And what you're not getting? You don't get your own bathroom. You, the kitchen is bigger. It's, in Perbeck? Yeah, in, okay. in Perbeck. It's bigger. Um, in, in like, in like, in pub, like living in student campus, it's more, it's easier not, not it's easier to socialize. Like with your, with so your. So student campus, you mean all the other accommodations? Yeah, like, not? like, like there is, like there is like um, there's an opportunity for you to talk to other roommates, um, like flatmates. Flatmates, yeah. So you mm-hmm. so more than okay, carry on. more than uh, more than here at Stina Village, because. Like everyone, look everyone. Just, just, just the because everyone, just no, 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 everyone, confusion. everyone. Just to dissociate confusion. Student village and form of accommodation. That's just the way because you're saying student accommodation. Oh no, so people might village. confuse student village with student accommodation. Plus, so let's say Bournemouth accommodation and student yeah. village. So student village is on campus, yeah. and Bournemouth accommodation is all the other yeah, off campuses. Yeah, yeah, so let's just, just from from here, let's just say it like that, so no one confuses the two. Yeah, okay, okay. Plus, actually, I just I just think about the biggest down is. It's not just students living there. So there's actual families. Living at Student Village? Yeah. There's a family. There's like three sections. We're at three main sections. There's a section here near Talbot House. There's one in the middle, but there's like no way you can get into it. And then there's one at the at last, mm. which is where you can get through. So people, real families, actual family live there. So it's not, so like, you don't really get to experience. So socialize. Yeah. So socialize. Because there's other so you, so you, in other hand you have to take in fact of other residents living there and it's not just and it's just not people who are just eighteen. I remember I saw when I was walking home I saw like a like a thirty or twenty five year old. So, so it's kind of just to sum up what you said. It's more of just in Liverpool student village. It's got a mix of weird different yeah. older younger people but yeah. the Bournemouth accommodation's got like more people you can socialize with and yeah. you socialize so, it's, so it's easier to socialize it's yeah easier to socialize yeah it's like you you've already been put into that environment where you can socialize with people so anything else to say about it no so what do you think the best Bournemouth accommodation is